Hello everybody, welcome to SourceFed, I'm Joe Beretta. And I've got a gun! <laughs> Flashing a little bit of the old tongue-in-cheek, the People's Liberation Army of China revealed their almighty militaristic secret weapon of doom this week. Trained killer monkeys. Macaque monkeys, to be exact. <laughs> Macaque. These perfectly predatory primates have been trained to zero in and kill. Not people, but unsuspecting, unfortunate birds. Pure evil. It seems migrating birds plague a northern China Air Force base, and these pushy sky flyers get all uppity and assume they have some, like, God-given right to share the sky with military aircraft. Which is a no-no because their hollow bones and downy feathers get sucked into jet engines and mess everything up. Haha, <laughs> stupid nature. To combat this nature versus machine debacle, the monkeys were brought in to evolve into brainwashed Pavlovian response and bird assassins. With a simple tweet of a whistle, the adorable macaque goes berserker and climbs up trees to frighten off birds and destroy their nests. And according to the Washington Post, the monkey force has been incredibly efficient, taking out nests at a clip of six to eight a day with a grand total of 180 nests so far. I imagine there's one battle-hardened macaque that doesn't talk to any of the other monkeys and just sits in the back of the monkey barracks in a dark corner, smoking a cigarette illuminated only by the intermittent horizontal beam of light cascading through the blinds. You don't want to stare, but when you glance down the corridor at the brooding primate, you swear to Christ, around his neck you saw a necklace made from tiny, bloody beaks. They might be trophies, but no one wants to ask. You're a dark dude sometimes, Joe. Yeah. These monkeys are actually the only successful attempt along a line of failed solutions to the bird problem. Scarecrows were a bust, the birds were impervious to the sound of firecrackers and live ammunition, and clumsy human soldiers were too busy falling out of the trees to be effective. Personally, I look forward to a future, say around 2018, 2019, because it'll take some time, when China and the United States become one unified nation and China's trained macaques team up with our military dolphins to create the most huggable fighting force ever assembled. <laughs> macaques. Guys, what animals would you train to help take over the world? Let us know in the comments. Section. Like, subscribe, click the annotation for more videos. My name's Joe Beretta. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Joe, wh what would you do with my cock? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>